Well, hello everyone, welcome back to another video of some F1 2022 game ideas. Today, I'm going to be talking about customization and also some other career mode ideas, um, as this is the final episode in this series on career mode, um, because next week it's multiplayer and the final week it's just some other general gameplay um, as well. But yes, um, let's get started. The first one, livery editor. Um, I think this has been mentioned ever since the My Team car was introduced into the game on last year's on last year's game. Excuse me. Um, it's something that I think has. To, it's a must that has to be on on the game because the liveries that Coke Masters make are dreadful. Um, and not only that, they don't have the time that the, our modders do and um, the. To put into making the liveries where the standard that they have that you need to be because the liveries that are that the modding community create are out of this world um you all, all you need to do is go and have a look on race department to see how good they are and and on console you don't get to see those liveries so on console um the games well basically get, goes very it can become very stale um, now Coke Masters obviously have the podium pass seasons I don't like this because it means although they are creating liveries I would, I would prefer if they would leave the livery creation to the modding community and uh, well we should hopefully become the livery creation community and then concentrate on fixing the game and making the game better um, as well because as you know well know to make some some of the modders spend months creating these liveries as well so yes and also um, maybe allow it will also then allow us to place the decals where we want as opposed to in the sponsor slots which should be the sponsor slot should be removed and we should just be able to replace the sponsor place the sponsors or any place on the car we like um, a little bit like what you can do in Need for Speed and other uh, most sport games as well. Number two, helmet editor for driver. Expect this is something that also is something that is been lacking um, because the helmets that Codemasters create aren't that great either. Although they are better, they're better than the liveries. I will admit that, um, but. I still want to be able to choose and create my own helmet like I would do with the with the livery um, as well and then I also want to be able to place team sponsors as well so and also my team be able to place and cut and change the color of the teams of the uh, my team sponsors as well um, so I want to be able to customize the place and maybe place a, a number on the top as well um, which is something you can't do but in, in the current game but allowing this open it, this is a must because other games are already doing this so if Code Masters and EA want to compete with other racing games then these two things a livery editor and a helmet editor is a must for F1 2022 now I'll also go on to um, the other st there should be editors for other parts of the my team career mode which includes the team livery um, because it's only in one style so everybody everybody has the same style for the team livery and it just gets boring seeing the same style livery you should be able to customize that to your heart's content the team garage and hq you should be like i think like in gta 5 you've got maybe have like six styles and be able to then choose the colors for that and color and two specific colors for that as opposed to based on the team colors as well so yes that's just that's the customization part of the video i'm going to move on to the other um, career mode aspects f2 driver results now i know this is a bit controversial i'll come back to formula 3 in a couple of weeks time but i do feel that the f2 which is all formula 2 is already part of the game and if, if we're going to have junior drivers, I want to be able to see how that junior driver is getting on in Formula 2. It also then affects their focus because currently all the F2 drivers are free agents and they all have 
high focus of 85, which immediately, once you sign them, drops to like 38 or something. So what we need is to see how they get on in Formula 2, if they're like having a good time of it, maybe like a Oscar Piastri, for example. His focus, I mean, he's winning the championship, he's, he's going to have a high focus compared to somebody like Alessio De Leda, whose focus will be about two, um, or something dreadful like that. So having that thing, and then obviously as F2 drivers um, graduate to Formula 1, um, Formula 3 drivers could also be added as three agents, and again you could also recruit them as your as to a your junior driver program as well, and then apply them to and find them a seat in Formula 2 so they can also then vacate if those seats are vacated then Formula 3 drivers can uh, replace those teams number 4 customise the race calendar order something that's been added ever since last year's game again um, I want to be able to, if, for example, if you, Brazil, if I want it to be round number 1 then that's the place I want it to be, obviously um, you might this is it's a video game so logistics don't matter um to be honest although obviously for me i would probably want to make it a realistically realistically logistical nightmare um not nightmare uh, rig movement so for example i don't want to have brazil and then well while well, they're doing it in real life for example brazil and Qatar are back to back um this year same with like Canada and Azerbaijan on next year's calendar are back to back in real life I wouldn't I personally think that's an idiotic thing to do, to have but um, in, in, the, in the video game it's fine it doesn't it doesn't make make any difference as well and obviously able to swap in classic tracks as well number five driver slash AI um, celebrations now I feel like that this needs to be expanded on. Yes, I know that they've changed slightly. That there's you occasionally see that that num that you that different celebration as they get out of the car. But the same, t but they're getting out at the same time. And then also about emotions. Um, for example, if if you have got your first win, you're going to have a different celebration compared to your twenty fifth win, for example. If you're a usual win, usual winner, for example. So there's stuff like that, and that also needs to be worked in worked into the game. Number six, transfer settings from one career mode to another. This is something that I got a little bit angry about because it was available in F1 2020 and it's not available in F1 2021. So if you've got a My Team crew and a driver crew mode, you can't transfer the AI settings, the helmet or anything between each crew mode and they need to bring that back. Simple as that. Number seven, real season starts. I don't, I'm not entirely sure real season start will be in F1 2022 because no, I don't think anyone actually, actually uses it. Um, as well or very rarely does um, because driver career mode is a lot better it's effectively a driver career mode that's what it is um, i feel that they should add a add a real real driver option to that career mode that's something that i thought was going to be in should have been in the game this year um to be honest but um yes i, I wouldn't be surprised if real season start isn't on f1 2022 Number eight, 35% career mode is another one that's been requested. Obviously, we see 35% races in esports, but yet it's not in the game for some reason. So, I guess that they need what they need to do is that that option of 35% career mode, uh, 35% races, excuse me, to career mode, online, except and everywhere, Grand Prix mode, etc., etc. Um, so it's available across the board. And the final one, um, sporting regulation changes. Now, this is stuff like, um, for example, point system changes. And I'm also going to mention a change to qualifying, for example. Um, we've seen the sprint races come in um, this this year or you can have the failed elimination format or reverse grid races for example stuff like that as well um, 
again, maybe also having a if an option, and I say an option because I I prefer to choose my calendar, but I can see that some people would prefer um, the the FIA or the AI to to, to uh, vote on the career on the calendar a little bit like most sport manager as well stuff like that as well will add a little bit of an extra option to the game as well um, and just um, again adding options isn't a bad thing to the to a to a video game it all increases the longevity of the game um, and hopefully all the stuff that I've mentioned in this series will make F1 2022 a whole load better um, because F1 2021 is already starting to go stale and we're only in November we haven't even got to the the, the worst months of the the game cycle which is February um, middle of January as well is also um, pretty much where nobody watch nobody actually watches F1 content um, as well so yes, that's where I'm going to leave it today. If you have enjoyed, then leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and you see plenty more F1 2021 and F1 2022 related gameplay. But until the next video, then I'll see you next time. Take care. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy your day, and goodbye.